So after about 24 to 48 hours, we can now assume that our beer is ready to drink and that the secondary fermentation or the conditioning has now taken place. We never, however, take this for granted. We'll always take a cap test, a clarity, aroma and taste test from the cask before we put it on sale. So the first thing we do is we get a fresh clean glass and we just pour a tiny bit of beer off and we'll throw it away. The reason we do that is because there may be some sediment just caught up inside the keystone here. So we'll get rid of that. Then we draw a little bit more beer off just around about an inch or so, and then we're gonna check for clarity. Make sure that it's nice and clear, and that you can see through it. We're gonna check for aroma. There's no off smells. It smells beautiful. And then finally, taste. That beer's now ready to be put on sale. If, however, we're not ready for the beer, because we've still got a cask that is being served, all we would do is we would replace the soft peg with a hard peg, finger tight, and we'll just leave that cask to sit dormant until we're ready to use it. What happens is there's a little void in the top of the cask and the gases from the fermentation will just sit in the top and they'll act as a natural preser uh, preservant. Once this cask is empty, we'll go back to our new cask Replace the, soft, the hard peg with the soft peg. Draw off a little bit more beer. Again, check the clarity, aroma and taste. And the reason we're doing this is because the live yeast inside this cask could have gone off in the time that it's been sat in the cellar. This one, as you can see, is absolutely ready to go. So it's now ready to be put on sale. Cheers.